Hey there, you're watching Bourbon Battles. My name's Joe. Hey, if you're new here, and I know a lot of you are because we've got a lot of new subscribers, we're going to do a special kind of episode today where we take two whiskeys and they're hiding in a bucket over there in these little uh, two ounce sample bottles. Uh, I just got done filming. I'm not going to tell you who won, but it was these two bad boys right here. Russell's Reserve 10 year and Knob Creek 9 year old. Hey, let me know in the comments who you think will win before I see what it is. Guys, watch the rest of the video to see what I pick out of these two. Now, for the thousands in attendance and the millions watching around the world. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, let's get ready to rumble! Okay, so there you have it. You know what I'm drinking? I have not filmed that part yet, if that makes any sense. I have no idea what I'm drinking. This is a completely blind battle. So I'm gonna get over here in this thing right here, and there's just bunches and bunches of these little packets made up just like this, like I just described. And we're gonna get right into these. This is gonna be one and two. As you can see, the envelope is sealed. Put that bad boy right there. I'm sorry, this is one and this is two. It's backwards to me. So let's get right into these, see what you think. If this is your first time here, hey, thank you so much. And if you're wondering what you can do, if you like the channel, do me a favor and just leave a comment. That's one of the best things you can do for the YouTube algorithms. Even better yet, if you like it, you subscribe, that's even better. If you saw it on Facebook or wherever you might have seen it, if you can uh, share it, that'd be fantastic. So let's get right into these. Hmm. Kind of got that old book note to it, like maybe it's old. I have no idea. You guys know, so you're probably laughing at me right about now. You know, we've got a lot of new subscribers here lately, so some of this this might be new to a lot of you. Uh, if you're wondering why I don't want to know what these are, it's because we don't give a rat's ass what's on the label. We just like good whiskey. It's really fun for me to find things that are better than Blanton's and all these other unicorns that are out there. Fairly similar to the nose. Yeah, it's hard to tell. I, I, first notion, I want to say they're probably a little older. Number one down the hatch here, that's really good. Yeah, I really like that. I think it's got some pretty good proof to it. My guess is it drinks below its proof. It's very, very tasty. Um, let's check that out again. I do think it's got some age to it. Oh, I just got a really neat note there, nose in number two. Hey, while I'm going through this one, check out this graphic right here. If you're interested in learning more about bourbon, check out the Stave and Thief Society. And there's the discount code to get you 15% off. Number two, down the hatch. Mm. That drinks like it's a lot lower proof. And I almost get some like clove in there, which is strange. Nose is going to go to number one. Two good whiskeys. I'll tell you, I'm going to pick the one I pick because I just feel like there's a little more flavor. They're kind of similar. Even though the one I'm going to pick, Burnt, is more ethanol-y, has more of that Kentucky hug, right? It's not quite as smooth. I feel like that produces more flavor. Man, these are interesting. I'm going to say one of these is a little bit better than the other one. So not, not a huge difference. And I'm going to pick number one. You guys already know what that is. Now I'm going to find out for the first time. Get into my envelope here. Let's, let's see. 
Did we have a unicorn? Do we have a unicorn killer? Number two that I did not pick. Oh, wow. Wow. Uh, number two that I did not pick is the Russell's Reserve 10-year, 90 proof. And I did pick the Knob Creek 9-year-old. So let me grab those bottles. Okay, so I did not pick the Russell's Reserve. It's a Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey out of the Wild Turkey Distillery down there in Kentucky. This stuff is really, really good. Um, to say that it's wildly better than this is, is a farce. I think if you polled a bunch of bourbon drinkers, it would probably go 50-50. I have a propensity to really enjoy the Jim Beam. So, yeah, like I said, 90 proof, 10 years old, very readily available. You can't beat Russell's Reserve 10-year. Uh, if you don't have one of those in your collection, I highly recommend it. And, of course, the Knob Creek, right? Small batch, 9 years old, 100 proof. There's just a year's difference in them. It don't get much better than this, folks. If you really want to step it up, go to the, the single barrel. Same as this, right? The store picks, the single barrels. It gets into a whole different realm. Uh, I will be putting single barrels of each of these into the bucket after doing this. These are two powerhouse whiskeys. If you don't have these in your collection, you're doing it all wrong, guys. And, you know, if you think, you know, hey, it's Jim Beam. I don't like Jim Beam. No, this stuff is fantastic. You know, graduate from this up into the, the bookers and all that stuff. I think you'd be very pleasantly surprised. Normally, I get a lot more peanut on this, and I will now that I know what it is. Yeah, I mean, classic Jim Beam. This is fantastic stuff. Check these out, guys. Hey, this is how I like to do it. I like to do it blind. And hey, I want to remind you, drinking bourbon is supposed to be fun. Do it with your friends. Do it responsibly. And let me know in the comments what you think of these two. Who do you think you would have picked? See you next time. Man. Don't drive to the watermelon crawl.